Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. So one of the neat things in this game is that there's a bunch of scale uh, experiments where basically you can put everything up into uh, scales and look at the difference. It's pretty neat and we can go to planetoids and planets and wow, look at all of those. But something that you may not know is that you can actually unpause the simulation and let them crash into each other gravity there we go one g at least i thought that was the issue uh eating we want to be enabled as well okay let's see if we turn up time a little bit Oh, there we go! Ooh, nice! So I guess we'll see what the winner is for each of the groups. It'll be like a true competition. So we got the gas giants, we'll find the winner. We got these little watery planets, we'll find the winner. Rocky planets and these tiny, tiny planetoids. And let's just set the background again to something a little bit less gross. And to let the games begin. Oh. This is gonna be pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Look at all of them. There's so many. The gas giants are just kind of combining into one. There isn't really much explosion, they just eat each other. The terrestrial planets are much more angry. They're actually doing a lot of damage to each other. Oh god, those are gonna collide. Oh wow, maybe not- oh, oh, there- there we are. They're all eating each other. Angrily. Alrighty, what's going on over here? This is so interesting, the patterns it's making in the trails and orbits. It's very neat. Alright. We've got one big one over here, and we've got one big one over here, so it looks like we've got our winners from each section. Now, I think we know who the real winner is. <laughs> Look at that chonky lad. That is... How much mass? How much mass do we have here? It's gotta be quite a bit. I mean... Really? It's barely anything! Oh! Okay. Never mind. What about compared to Earth? Wow, it's a hundredth of Earth? I expected it to be so much more. Is this just planetoids? Planetoids and planets. Okay, we need to do planets. I feel like that's a better... That's a better comparison. Okay, here we go. Planet time. These are larger, right? These would better be lar- Yeah, a hundred Earth. 100 Earth, fantastic. Okay, this will give us a little bit more kerblam. So we just have to remember again, now that we've figured out how to do it. A lot of people don't know that you can do this. It, there's nothing preventing you from getting these grids and making them smash into each other. Um, and it's actually a lot of fun because it basically sets up an entire simulation for you. It's like zero effort, and that's how life should be. <laughs> right, guys? Hero Aaron agrees. <laughs> oh no, gravity! I want you to be turned on, actually. Oh no, you are turned on. Okay, great. Uh, and then we just have to uh, start the simulation. Turn the speed up a little bit. Uh. Oh, oh, that was a bit much. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit overkill. Uh, why does it- it keeps closing. I want to keep it open so that I can see the speed at which it's moving. Why do you keep hiding from me? I don't want you to be hidden. Okay, let's turn this down to like... A little bit less than real time. I mean a little bit more than real time, not less than real time. That would be pretty damn slow. Alright, here we go. This is a reasonable speed. So this time these guys are big. These may actually form a star. Um, and that's what I'm going for. I kind of wanted to see that happen, so... We'll see what 
goes on over here, we're at the almost the mass of Jupiter, so it probably won't sadly reach the mass required to become a star. Um, but it will get about the size of Jupiter, possibly. Why is it losing mass? All of these things are impacting it, and it's just losing mass. It's kind of lame, not gonna lie. It's like if you ate a thousand chocolate bars and got skinny. Actually, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so I think we can see that there's an issue. With, with this, these grids, it just uh, flies apart way too quickly. We, we can't get an accurate, accurate reading. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this, and we're gonna do a little bit more insanity with it, right? First, <clears throat> I'm gonna sneeze. That was an important step. Make sure you do that when you're doing yours. We're gonna put them all in a line. So that's the big idea. So we're gonna make it a live line. And then they're all going to be going towards each other because they, they have to. I mean, where else would they get attracted? They're all going to get attracted towards the center. Um, so this will show us that they will all collide. What's neat is it's kind of set them up in this really neat order. So I kind of like that. It's like big, small, big, small, big, small. So all the small things are just going to get absolutely crushed. Um, let's set it to just stars so that we can see a little bit more easily. And let's go ahead and set up our simulation settings again. Boop. All right. We're going to turn down the speed a little bit. And play. So what we're going to notice is, like I said, everything's going to be going towards the center pretty much. Things may be temporarily attracted to the object to the other side, but this side should win out because, I mean, there's way more mass in this direction and there's way more mass in this direction. So, we'll see how it goes. Especially for the end. Like, this guy only really can go in one direction. <laughs> There's not much of a choice. Wow, this is really stressing out my computer. Not gonna lie. This is, uh... This is making her, uh... Go a little bit, you know, more intense than usual, but that's alright. As the planets collide and merge, the amount of things being simulated will decrease! Oh, that's so neat! That's so neat! <laughs> like, every other one ate each other. Oh, what is going on over here? I'm missing the fawn! Oh my god! Oh, these two now. Oh! And they're all going in that same direction, so pr Wow, those actually just bounced off. So we ended up, actually, with only like five objects. Um, let's try that again. But let's try it with stars. I know this is going to be ridiculous. I know that it's not going to end well. Um, but it needs to be done for science. So, I mean, can you really blame me? Yes, yes, you can. And you're allowed to as well. I won't stop you. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and set the uh, chart. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and look at that bloom effect. It's a little bit oversaturated, not going to lie. I find it interesting that the center is actually has a little bit more effect than these big stars over here. That's really odd. I don't know why that's actually happening, um, but let's go ahead to the simulation and set the gravity up to 1 and see what happens. I don't even have to change the background because it is really easy to see what's going on here. I mean, they're, they're stars. They're kind of bright. So the first true collision between the stars is going to cause a supernova. Um, and it's likely going to be- Oh! Oh, damn! Where did that even come from? I have no clue why that happened over there. Oh! Oh my! What the heck? 
That is like every single one supernova at the same time and has created this strange void. Whoa! It's like the Eye of Sauron. Look at that. That is really neat. I, I have no clue, honestly. I think I just created the Big Bang. Whoops. Okay. Let's make it look cooler. Oh, wow. I cannot believe that happened. That is, uh... Wow, my, my I am very laggy, if you can't tell. Um, that is... That is something that is definitely interesting. It's like a black hole, except angrier. Okay, let's see what's left after we just let it go a bit longer. It's so like every single one of the stars at this point just supernova in the same spot at once. Kind of, kind of interesting. And they're all different kinds of stars, and I'm sure that like... This has a lot of power behind it. How large is this going to get? It's pretty, uh... This is a pretty big explosion. Look at it go. Oh, oh, it's done growing. Is it going to start fading away now? I, I honestly have... Oh. Oh. The game has decided it wants to die. Nice. The game cannot actually run any faster. Well, I guess we got our answer. We we created... I don't know. That we just broke the game. Well, I guess we'll end it there. I usually end things when I break the game. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Sorry that it was a little bit laggy. Weak computer cannot handle 50 supernovas at once. This is why you should support me on Patreon like the people that are about to be on screen, because then I can get a better computer to do 60 supernovas at once.